What is up guys, we're here once again and we're back today with some more Maple Story. We're back today with Bree Maker, our hero level 251 and today's plan, it's a Miracle Time Day. Yes, so it's a Miracle Time Day for the shoes and we are definitely not going to use it on these Nova shoes. We are going to grab some Apso gear. We're not going to be able to get all of it, but a lot of cubing, potentially some star forcing. We're going to try and hit 260 this time. I do have a plan. Unfortunately, last time I was trying to use mag potions on a burning character, which we should all know by now that it's not how it works. So anyway, we are going to use a little bit of XP coupons to get that level 260. Obviously, not the way I wanted to do it, but you know what? Let's start with that, actually. I'm going to start with doing a bit of leveling up and then we're gonna go grab our abso gear i really do feel bad using these xp coupons on a level 251 guys trust me it's not what i wanted to do but sometimes we have to do some sacrifices because we did miss a few days and we did miss a few monster park as well let's see if this should be enough we've got a thousand oh my goodness okay So that's one level. I think this is kind of too much. Oh, it's not too much. Okay. I am panicking, definitely. Are we going to have enough, guys? I low-key think that I'm not going to be able to. I'm going to claim all of these. Oof, guys, this is not going to be enough. Oh, wait a second. One more level. 63%. Are you kidding me? Looks like we might be able to. I don't know i have to do some monster park i will probably have to do some weeklies and dailies xp because the thing is i don't think i'm going to be able to play again until the event ends which is the 27th so that's going to be kind of risky i'm going to go ahead and grab the abso gear let's see how many we can buy what should we buy with this one here it's going to have to be the shoes the gloves and the cape make sure we grab the proper ones per usual warriors cape warriors shoes and the gloves that's three out of three i don't have enough sigma coins six i need seven of these so it's definitely gonna be one for the shoulders which we don't have and the weapon so the weapon let's see where we can find a double-handed sword this looks like the two-handed sword these are pretty nice weapons or the blasters we are familiar with the hammer with the paladin obviously but not this one so i'm gonna buy this and again the shoulders will have to be some other time i don't have enough damon coins let's start off with hmm, the gloves actually you know what we're gonna start off with the shoes today is a miracle time day for the sneakers so i'm gonna use the sneakers first potential scrolls Activate it. Let's see. Green liner already. That's pretty decent. I'm going to use some of these green cubes. A lot of them are expiring, so I'm really happy to be able to use all of these. Let's try and make this easy, guys. Epic. Nice. Okay, something's kind of fishy. It's just not wanting to rank up to unique for some reason. Come on, sneakers. You, you've been pretty hard to get up there. There you go. Finally. Oh my lord, we have used so many of the green cubes and the purple cubes. So it looks like Feather Eater's luck is not rubbing too much on its cousin here, the Bree Maker. Okay, wow. Wow, oh wow, that Bree Maker is being a very hard one. So we got more event ring. I don't want any of that. Okay, so 20 red cubes. Definitely gonna use those ones. Grab 40 of these bad boys and then another 50. Starting off with 20 red cubes. Come on now. Surely it's gonna be enough. Everyone else is getting their cubes. There you go. <laughs> that took forever. All right, so legendary on the sneakers. We're gonna pop a bit of blue cubes right on that. See if we can get a three liner potentially. Svetator really did have a lot of luck. He had i think two or three items with three stacks of strength so okay that's a two liner 13 <laughs> percent are you kidding me right now shoes are completely done as for cubing i'm gonna jump onto the gloves all right so what we're gonna do is use these green cubes or actually we're gonna use the regular green cubes for now 
Let's pray and spray. Unique. That's good. All right. So we're going to stop with these green cubes because they're not going to be useful at all. We've got about 17 or so. Oh, I almost used it on the shoes. We do not want to do that. Okay. First one. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, cool. Cool. I'm not, hey, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to roll with it. Oh my Lord. That's something. Crit damage and a plus 7%. No, nope, not good enough. That is definitely not good enough, guys. You know me. I'm trying to think if we can get... I don't think we can get a 12% crit damage on the gloves. I think 8 is the maximum. Crit damage and one line of strength. That's all we want. Come on. Okay, this is interesting. Why do we have enabled a decent sharp eye skill? What does that even do? I'm going to stick with the 8% and the 10% strength. We might come back and visit because, again, I am really focusing on Remaker. We really want to push this guy. Looking at the cape now, we've got still a couple green cubes left. Not much. Let's see how it's, if we're going to get unique, maybe a double jump, perhaps. No. Okay. 160 green cubes, guys. This is what we've been all waiting for for this entire event. Now, talking about the event, this whole dream slash go west update i'm gonna kind of rate it up there you know uh, probably an 8 out of 10 obviously better than the expedition one that we had previously this one definitely is up there but i won't lie to you guys i did not do the pyramids someone mentioned or i think it was a guild member or a friend i mentioned how no one's really doing the pyramid it's too long and tedious i did it up until stage four stage five was very very difficult i, I feel like stage four was too hard and i was not able to do it it literally take like 40 to 50 minutes to complete one run and it wasn't worth the xp it wasn't worth the cooties so i decided not to do it anymore let me know in the comments if you guys felt the same with the pyramid dungeon slash quest whatever that is i hope nexon will do a better one on the next event coming up on the 28th haven't seen any notes i haven't checked any reddit comments on that i usually tend to just keep my eyes closed on news and stuff i just want to hop on maple story and figure out as we go just keep it fresh and new don't want to be like too much into the details and that's also where you guys always shine yes you just give me the news you tell me what's good or what's bad so i think we're gonna keep it that way for a bit but nexon please oh please make the next event a proper nice one this might not be even a good way to do it i mean i'm losing about 400k every run i mean every cube come on keep there you go unique finally there you go legendary two liners Uzo, please. What about here? Oh, okay. We've got... Okay. Gonna use 30 of these guys. On the cape. Oh, hopefully the purple cubes are gonna do justice. Okay. Finally. Five oh, I, I don't care about that second line. That's a solid line. Fine. <laughs> oh my god. That costs us so much. Okay. Last but not least, the weapon. This is going to give us a huge chunk of, of power. 75 green. Pay and spray. Okay, unique. Finally. Alright, cool. So we have a bit of red cubes left. Let's see if we can get legendary with 5 red. And we don't. Oh my god. And we got a 13% attack i'm gonna just solidly go for 100 blue cubes i i feel like oh wait did i just buy 20 oh there you go we have 120 actually so 120 blue cubes so what do we want oh my god if this was attack percentage I, i'm done <laughs> literally i was done so we want attack percentage boss damage and some strength i would even argue that boss damage should probably not be that much of a priority anymore since we have a lot of legions. Oh. ID. I'm gonna... No, actually, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep rolling. That's an interesting line. But we're not gonna settle with ID. We do not need ID at all. Wait a second. 
we might be onto something here. Guys, should I... Two lines of boss damage. What do we think about that? And we get a 10% attack. I'm going to run a bit of red. Just a tad little bit of it. So that's... Okay, that's interesting. Oh my god. Guys. Two lines of attack and a damage... I think this might be the most OP... The most OP cubing on a weapon. We have two lines of attack and a damage 10%. I don't care. I know that the 10% damage is not good. It's better to have a stat on there, but... Or a boss damage at this point. But oh my god, two lines of attack. I am more than happy. More and more than happy. I'm gonna use my stats right here just before I forget. Pretty decent. Now, the other thing is we do have... Oh, they're only sitting at unique. Looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit more cubing. And I thought I was done here. But we have our CRA gear as well to get up to legendary. I'm glad I bought a lot of blue cubes now. Get two lines of strength on this bad boy real quick. Okay. That's 18 plus a 12% dex. I hate to reroll this, but we have to. There's no way we're gonna put a dex up there when we're a warrior. 12 plus 9... And at 9. Okay, we're gonna settle. So, trousers, two lines of strength. Please, oh, please. Baby. Oh, baby. 24. Last but not least, the top. Oh, my God. I was about to cry and say we're never gonna get this, but we finally got a 24%. It's a three-liner, but not a really juicy one. But I'm still gonna grab it. I'm still gonna keep it. So that concludes three top CRA and our Absolab gear. Oh baby. All right, flames. Let's do a bit of flaming or before we do the flaming, I think the 17 star is gonna have to go on the weapon. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Start off with the weapon. What are we looking for flames though? Boss damage and attack and some stat. Okay, that's what we want. And all stat percentage. Okay, that's even better. All stats, boss damage, and attack power. Okay, do we want to settle? I'm gonna share the love a bit. I'm gonna go on to the cape. See what the flames... Okay, not much. <laughs> not much has happened. We've got a bit of the white ones. All stat plus 6. 81 strength, okay. That's not bad. 4 and 45. All stat plus 5 and not... Okay, we have to reroll this one. And reroll that one as well. Don't have much flames, but I think the event should have more. Somewhere hidden. Oh, dear god. Okay, we have a lot of flames, guys. Nothing to worry about. So an all stat plus 6 and a 20. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this one up for now. I know this is the better version. Let's roll a couple more. Minus 37. So we want something less than minus 37. Minus 14. All stat and a 74. Oh baby. I'm stopping right there. Gloves. 80. 66 strength. Okay, I'm gonna stop. And reroll. More than 80. We're definitely gonna get more than 80. One more. Yeah. We're gonna stick with what we have. Choose. We want more than 55. Okay. I think we might be pushing a bit too much on this bad boy. We're gonna keep what we have. Okay, let's see what we have here. So all stat plus 5 and a 16 strength. Yeah, so the CRE top definitely we're gonna work. There you go. 5% <laughs> and a 72. We love to see that. Trousers. Trousers are really bad. Oh, anything would be better. All stat and a 6. This is much better, guys. Oh, baby. And we get a 5 speed. I think I'm gonna settle with that. I don't need the stat. I'm just gonna stick with the 6 attack power. Pop is sitting at 6% already and at 32. I'm gonna just roll a little bit to give this a guy... I know it, you know the top was pretty stubborn with us, but I'm gonna give it a bit of a, a chance. See what we can probably attain. Last one. 
Okay. We're gonna keep what we have. But I think that pretty much sums this flaming. I'm just curious about the weapon. I'm gonna roll a bit of the weapon. I think we settled too quick. Oh my god. 12% boss damage. That's good. 63 attack power. And a 25 strength. Which is much better than an all stat. I'm gonna change it for this one. Should we stop right there? I'm gonna roll again. This is being a little bit addicted. I'm gonna roll another 10. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with what we have. 25 strength, 63 attack, and boss damage 12. And it has already a 17 star force thanks to the scroll. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick check if we're missing anything. Okay, guys, I feel like that's gonna be it. We've completely done everything we needed to do. We are sitting about 4.8 combat power. I'm going to use these items and see how much up we're gonna go. So, definitely not Star Force. I'm gonna definitely wait for a sunny Sunday for these Star Force because it's gonna be expensive. Let's wear all of the gear for now. I am excited to see how much... 8.8. .8. We're... Creeping up there. We're creeping up there to Beer's level. Now, 8.8 .8 combat power, damage range 4.2, strength wise 24k. It's actually really, really not too bad. I feel like to end the video, we need to make justice on the bossing. I will use a couple of posts. I'm not going to use too much. Make sure we have our link skills connected as well. Nice and easy. Now it's going to have to be a bit of serious mode because I haven't done Helux yet with Remaker. And I'm going to let you guys know that I am still not there with Remaker. Like, I'm not too filmed with the bossing. I'm going to see if we can... Ooh. Didn't see the weapon. Oh, that's... Oh, that's nice. That's a beautiful weapon. But we need all the stats possible. So I'm going to put that back on. There you go. Okay, all the buffs are activated. There you go. Oh, Oh, I thought I had a purple key. Oh, guys. Okay. Well, you know what? As per usual, it is not a bossing video with Nuri without having to fail some of the stuff. So we already buffed. That's okay. And it's not a Helox per se. It's a, It's not a purple key Helox. But if we can still respect... We can still respect the grind. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Oh, okay, we're starting off that. Okay, that's how we want to do it, right? Okay, we lost two lives. Oh my god, I skipped that. Oh my lord. Not the best start. I got hit by that. Skip that. Nice. Oh, I, I, I thought that was going to hit us. Well, the problem with Remaker here is that... Okay, high frame. He is pretty, pretty slow. I need to really stay close. And pay attention to his eyes. Skip that. Oh my god. What is he doing? What are you doing, my guy? Two lives. This is going to be a fail. I'm gonna use a couple of these buffs. Escape the vomit. I went for my iframe. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, I just forgot. Oh my god, guys. I think the comments are gonna hate me again. <laughs> I forgot to pop that skill. Whatever that skill makes that allows you to deal more damage, but you're only hitting three mobs at a time. Escape the vomit. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of learning curves, guys. Okay. I'm gonna go for a... Iframe. Nice. I'm gonna have to go down here. And die. Okay.
back up here. We this is our last life, actually, guys. <laughs> Fail. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Looks like 8.9 combat power is not enough. First of all, we buffed too early. Second of all, we forgot to pop Enrage, which allows us to do more damage. So then again, I'm new to Hero. All the tips and tricks will be welcome. Please let me know in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy this one, beautiful cubing session, failure of a bossing, give it a thumbs up, do subscribe, share with some friends, and I will catch you guys on the next video.